Yeah. And one of the things that I have begun telling people that come to me and say that they're not going to vote, their vote won't make a difference, uh, you know, that, that, that I cringe whenever I hear someone who has been marginalized say that. I understand it, but I cringe. It makes me cringe. And I tell them, you know, a non-voter is a volunteer slave. And yeah. often that's enough to jar them into really beginning to think about and think through why it is so important and critical for them to get out to vote. Will you turn back? No! Will you turn back? No! Will we go forward together? Yes! Not one step back? Not one step back! Respect! 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 Respect. Respect. R-E-S-P-E-C-T! R-E-S-P-E-C-T! Respect! 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 The constitutional rights and right. humanity of all people! Of all people! Regardless! Regardless! Of race! Of race! Creed! Creed! Class! Class! Gender! Gender! And sexuality! And sexuality! Forward together! This man is an innocent man but they have not dignified him by saying a word to him. Yeah. Grant this man a pardon. Yeah. 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 Now! I am T. Anthony Spearman. The State Conference of Branches of North Carolina is the greatest conference of branches in all of the United States of America. Uh, many people talk about how they see me on television standing with Dr. Barber, the little guy next to the big guy. I want to be a bigger guy, and I'm hoping that you will see some merit in the service that I've rendered over the course of the years. One of the things that I have been thinking about is what I call transforming RIP. Of course, we know that RIP is the acronym that we use for rest in peace, and we often use it only when a person dies. Well, I'm asking that we would transform RIP from a death wish to a justice gift. To one, respect our vote. Two, inspect the root cause of poverty. And three, protect our youth. And I believe that as long as we are framing it in that way, that one of the things that we'll always remember are also the three evils that Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. had lifted up during his lifetime. Racism, materialism, and militarism. And I think that if we keep those in the forefront of our minds, that we will be always doing the work of justice and we'll be able to move forward together and not take one step back. Forward together! Forward together! Not one step back! Not one step back! We in this movement are a fluid movement and we have to be ever vigilant. When this moral fusion coalition comes together, we break many kinds of bread. It matters not whether we break cornbread or wonder bread, fry bread or tortillas. It matters not whether we break communion wafers, matzo balls, pita bread, or sourdough. What matters most is that we break bread together because the bread we share strengthens the arms that beat the drum of resistance and the legs that push the rock of reconstruction. And we'll go forward together, forward together. until the blind receive their sight, yes, until the lame rise up and walk, yes. until those who are sick are healed. Yes. The deaf will hear, yes. the mute will talk, yes. and the good news will be proclaimed yes. to the people. Yes. Repent! Repent!